Mark Alman said, the good news is that Putin cannot start World War III by simply pressing a red button on his desk in the Kremlin. If he decides to launch an attack, the command must go through at least three layers of controls to prevent the accidental or unauthorized launch of nuclear missiles. Before reaching the nuclear silos, mobile launch sites and submarines, his command would go through three men. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, Chief of Staff Valery Gerasimov and the head of Russia's nuclear missile forces, Sergei Karagayev, he said. Even after traveling past his chain of command, the launches would not immediately follow. Unless there has been a change in standard protocol since Russia invaded Ukraine, there would be a 20-minute time difference between each broadcast of the nuclear football containing the codes needed to relay the launch order and target information so that the nuclear forces can verify that it is actually allowed. These safeguards are vital given the size of Russia's nuclear stockpile. It is estimated to contain 5,977 nuclear warheads, the world's largest mainly stored in 12 depots across Russia. Of these, 1,500 are believed to be ready for launch. Before the war in Ukraine, Putin boasted that the U.S. Star Wars missile defense system would not be able to stop its new hypersonic missiles. In practice, however, the weapons he is likely to use are smaller tactical missiles that can hit neighboring countries such as Ukraine or nearby NATO states. These are largely stored in European Russia and the exclave of Kaliningrad between Poland and Lutyana. Among them is the long-range cruise missile caliber, which would reach London. It is possible that Putin could be surprised by the West by using his shorter-range Iskander missiles to deliver nuclear warhead missiles. If fired from a truck-mounted launcher on Russian territory, even the Iskander would hit Warsaw or Stockholm with a warhead eight times more destructive than the Hiroshima bomb. Finally, Putin has his classic intercontinental ballistic missiles based on silos in western Siberia. They could easily reach London or Washington. What we don't know is whether Russia's old warheads still work. While Russia has been testing the missiles that would carry the warheads, test ban treaties mean that neither America nor Russia has detonated a nuclear weapon for decades. Riot police arrested a woman on Wednesday during a protest against reservist mobilization in Moscow, Russia. Putin made a partial mobilization effective immediately 